Hi there and welcome to this cryptic Christmas treasure hunt. So uh, this is kind of inspired from some of the escape room and breakout EDU type um, activities. Uh, it requires quite a bit of planning and logistics to get the lesson set up. But once it's ready, um, the lesson literally runs itself. I've done this with uh, students from fourth, fifth form in GCSE uh, up to um, lower six, A level um, and IB. There, there's quite a lot to, to do, so first of all I'll just talk you through what you need to do in advance of the lesson. So what I've done here is I've just printed off everything that's in the pack that is attached um, and I'll just talk you through what else um, you need. So um, an A4 uh, envelope, UV pen, uh, UV light, normal padlock, a, a combination padlock with letters, a three digit combination padlock, a four digit combination padlock, a USB stick, um, and then a smaller envelope here with um, this address here. So Mr. S. Claus, 132 Lapland Drive, Finland, North Pole. Um, so I'll just talk you through what you need to do to get the lesson set up. So these, um, these five sheets are here in the order in which they appear in the attached slides. So what you need to do, first of all, is take your UV pen um, and just write the uh, lyrics um, on here. So you're going to write, away in a manger, no crib. So you need to write that on there. And then on this question here, uh, you, at the top you also need to write additional clues. The other thing you need to do um, is on the USB stick, um, there's, there's uh, one of the attachments is an image. You need to load the, the image onto the USB stick as well. Um, so the first thing you're going to do then is take these sheets of music and just in a random order, you're going to put them somewhere um, prominently at the front of the classroom. Um, the next thing you're going to do then is you're going to take, you're going to fill the envelopes. So the first one, the Santa Claus envelope, you're going to put 5 by 10 transposition cipher in. So just fold that up and I would suggest you leave this somewhere kind of um, inconspicuous. So for instance, I would leave it uh, on my desk at the front, just looking like it's um, a normal envelope. So leave that there. Uh, next, you're going to put this envelope uh, and you're going to put this question here. The Santa's elves are wrapping a picture frame. You're going to put that in here and you want to make this one look kind of interesting. So um, anything sort of top secret, anything like that, um, you're going to take that. And you're going to put it ideally, if you've got a little side room or somewhere in the script so that the students can see. So put it in there and then you're going to lock that. So let lock that door and keep the key. Okay, so next you're going to take the USB stick and put it on the regular padlock. So you're just going to go somewhere around the room uh, and and lock that on there. So you're going to take your keys for the padlock and you're going to put them on this combination lock. So the combination lock here needs to be set to uh, match. So you're then going to take that combination lock and put it up somewhere. Also conspicuous. And next you're going to take your UV torch and you're going to put that on the three digit combination lock and the code there is 364, so set that to 364 and then put that somewhere at the back of the classroom. And you can see it, in the vicinity of the torch, you're gonna to write this question. So the question is, in the song of 12 Days of Christmas, how many presents do I receive in total? So just to make it a little bit harder, I'm then gonna close the blinds a little bit behind there as well. The next thing then is the Four digit combination lock. So the four digit combination lock is set to 5050, and I've put the keys from the office uh, there, and I will just find somewhere else to um, attach that to. Okay, so finally, the only other two things we need to do. So 
So this question here, uh, you're going to take and put it again somewhere fairly prominent at the front, and you just need to put the encryption matrix next to it there. Now the final thing is this. So this is what the students actually need to start the quiz. So uh, again, two ways. You can either leave this kind of at the back of the classroom, um, or if you're really cruel, you can actually scrunch it up and throw it on the floor and get them to try and uh, find it out as well. So um, that is it, you're all ready to go. And in theory, your role for the rest of the lesson then is literally to stand back, to make notes of what the students do. So a bit like on The Apprentice, um, uh, when, when uh, you see Karen Brady taking notes. You're looking at what the students are doing, um, you're making notes about how they communicate, how they share their ideas, how they work collaboratively. And then at the end of the session, you'll, you'll give feedback as well. So when the students come in, you literally don't have to give them any instructions. Part of this is about them using their initiative. Um, and next I'll show you how this uh, works.